Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess, or the TIE Fighter Chick. Today is one of my favorite times of the month. It is my Magic at Your Door box. I have not even opened this. It just barely came in the mail just a couple minutes ago. So let's crack on into this. If you have not heard of Magic at Your Door, it is by far, in my opinion, one of the best Disney subscription boxes. They cater to your preferences. They have one-time boxes. You can buy items d directly from them, like Loungefly. There's a lot of different things that they do. So I'm gonna give you a first peek. We'll see what came in this month's box. Anything exciting? <laughs> oh, it's like last month's box where you can't really see anything at all. I can see the, the little silver pouch that comes in each box. You get a different color depending on what level of subscription service you buy. Um, it's for the bronze, silver, or gold. Um, I know right now for gold, they are doing a golden ticket um, that is you know, a special thing that you can do. Um, there's random prizes, things like that. But this is their monthly newsletter. It tells you a little bit about what's going on. So you've got that um, golden ticket promotion. Looks like they've got an advertisement for the trading post. So if you subscribe to a bunch of different subscription services, sometimes you'll get overlapping items, um, items you already have. You can always go to the trading post and trade them. Um, you can, there's a reminder to review your account preferences. I've done that recently. And there's the uh, direct from them spot. And then it's got a color code um, portion. So I'll kind of give you a close up of that. So that comes in every box. Um, there's some different information just based on what's going on that month. So I'm going to take the silver pouch out because I don't want to open that yet. Ooh, looks like we have a pair of ears. We do. Oh, oh these are velvety too. So this is one of the newer sets of ears. Super pretty. Um, very simple, which is kind of a little bit more my style. I tend to like um, certain types of the the Mickey ears. Um, these are about $30 in the parks. Um, that's where you can typically purchase these. I want to try them on got my queen of hearts ones on today just because I've got a red shirt on. Let's see here. Oh, those are super cute. I love those. This, these would be good for um, like a park bound, but they're super soft and fluffy. They're kind of velvety. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, we've got a wishable. Oh, and it's Bing Bong. How cute is that? Cute little bing bong. So this is from the movie Inside Out, and it's from the Wishables. Whoop, if I can hold on to them in the tag at the same time. Um, the Wishables, they're these little mini plushies um, that you can purchase. They've got uh, one out of the bag and four or five usually in the bags. Um, they're blind bags, but I'm definitely gonna have to ask for more of these because I'd like to get the whole set since I do like um, inside out. I'm pretty sure I have that on my preferences too. I can't remember if I do or not, but I'm gonna have to ask for the rest of the series. But they are super cute, super soft and fluffy. Like, they are just delightful. They feel like um, the velvet, like on the ears. Super soft. He is so cute though. Like, oh my goodness. I love Bing Bong. He's adorable. Oh, goody, goody, goody. So I've gotten one of these types of things before and this was actually an item off of my wish list um, which you can add certain things um, like Loungefly and Alex Nani bracelets and ears and they've got all sorts of things on the, um, the wish list but this I've gotten one before it's a note card set. I know there's a bit of a glare. Let me take the uh, plastic off of it so we can take a better look. Um, but these are note card sets. They come with envelopes and everything, and they're in these beautiful boxes that look like books. And I love these. Um, once I get around to it, <laughs> it's one of those things where life gets in the way. Uh, once it get, I get around to it, I'd like to actually frame some of the cards and put them up. Um, especially for Alice in Wonderland because that's one of my favorites. Cheshire is my absolute favorite, but there you go. Close up of the book. This is all kind of raised detailing on the front. 
And then inside, we've got the ceiling stickers, Walt Disney Archives, and then the cards. So I usually send you two of each card. So I'm gonna divide these out real fast just so I can show you one set. <laughs> it's like dealing cards, playing cards. Uh, I love these. So the artwork on these is just absolutely phenomenal. They include a lot of different types of artwork. So first one, this is Alice. Uh, it says, Alice attempts to throttle, throttle her less than cooperative croquet mallet. And this was a re released in July 28th, 1951. Uh, it's a cleanup animation graphite and color pencil. That is amazing. <laughs> Next up, the card carrying members of the Queen of Hearts. Um, Royal Guard quickly assembled to carry out her Imperial Decrees. This was also July 28th. This is a visual development piece. <laughs> Here we've got the Mad Hatter, Dormouse, and March Hare, and they were calling for another round of tea. Same release date. This is also a visual development piece. This one is the Queen of Hearts hapless minions carry out her command to paint her white roses red. And this was same date, uh, July 28th, 1951, also a visual development. This one's watercolor though. Then you've got uh, size really does matter as the now gigantic Alice plucks a startled white rabbit up by his ears. This one's a story sketch also done in watercolor. Then we've got the prospect of a topsy-turvy tea party stretches out before Alice, um, also a visual development from 1951. This one's kind of cool. <laughs> so this one is Alice's allegorical adventures through Wonderland are illustrated in one whimsically winding composition. This was a fan card art. Um, Looks like there's a couple different artists um, in regards to all these different pieces, but that's a really neat poster type thing. I'd like to have that in an actual poster poster. And my favorite, the Cheshire Cat. Uh, study in surreal silliness, the Cheshire Cat delights in defying the laws of both logic and physics. This is a cleanup model sheet. I think this one's my favorite so far. I just, I love the Cheshire Cat especially when he's pulling this pose um, where his ears are lifting off of his head. Oops, knocked a pop figure off. But when he's lifting his ears off of his head, it's one of my favorites. Then this is a moment of quiet tenderness between Alice and her beloved cat, Dinah. This is also visual development, release date of July 28th, 1951. And this is the original theatrical poster created for the 1974 re-release. And it says, Alice encounters a cavalcade of curious characters in the reality-twisting realm of Wonderland. So, as you can see, there's a lot of different art styles in these cards. They're absolutely beautiful. I do plan to frame some of them. I need to get some of the new pop figures that came out for the Alice um, collection that they just put out uh, for Funko Pops. That way I can do like a whole shelf. I don't know which pop figure fell down, but I'll figure that out later. Alrighty, last but not least for this box is the silver pouch. I don't know what's down in here. I'm very curious. Um, it's kind of flat feeling, which is interesting. Um, but they, man, they pack these boxes full and they nail it every single time. Um, I know for sure the Alice in Wonderland was off my wish list. I think I'd put the ears on there as well. Um, but they always match your preferences. Magic at your, at your Door always nails these boxes. I've never gotten a single thing that I haven't really loved and that hasn't been within my wheelhouse of things that I will use. So, let's see what's in the silver bag. There's a whole bunch of woozles, of course. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a necklace. Oh, I'm excited. And so I have on my wish list the pins that they did for 2020 for the gold member boxes. I would love to eventually get the whole set of these. Um, this happens to be October's pin. He does glow in the dark. Let's see if it'll focus here. There we go. It does glow in the dark, has a castle on it, and it says 2020, and the castle's all nice and sparkly. 
I seriously love these. They are such cool pins. I love getting them. I want to eventually get the whole set so I can put them in a display like I've seen a lot of people doing. And then last but not least, this is a beautiful necklace. Um, it is sterling silver and it comes from the Disney Parks Collection jewelry. Um, I tend to wear very simple jewelry, um, you know, very dainty necklaces. If I'm wearing anything like with a t-shirt, that sort of thing, um, I tend to go for those more so than you know, big loud statement pieces, depending on the outfit I'm wearing. But this one definitely fits my preferences. I did ask for this one. It's super tiny, I know, but if you look at the quote, you can probably guess who this is. It is a character from Peter Pan, and the quote says, all you need is a little faith, trust, and pixie dust. So, you can see it there. It's gonna have a hard time, I think, focusing on it, but it is a little tiny, itty bitty Tinkerbell. I seriously love this. It's so dainty and perfect, and I will definitely get some use out of it and be able to wear it. Um, this particular necklace is 15 inches plus a three inch adjuster piece. Um, it's usually the one with bigger loops that you can, you know, hook the uh, lobster claw into. But I am super excited. This is a great box, as always, they nail it. Um, but if you'd like to do a box of your own, I will leave a code down be below. It's a, just a link that you can click on and it will send you to the page where you can do your own box. They are highly worth it if you are considering doing a subs subscription service. I can't talk today. A uh, subscription service. I would highly recommend Magic at Your Door. I have been far happier with them than I have with any other subscription box so far. Um, but there it is. That's all I've got for you today. I hope everyone has an absolutely magical day. Stay warm if you're in the south. Oh, it has been really cold. We've had that huge winter storm that just blew through. Um, but I hope you, everyone has a absolutely magical day. Until next time.